With share CFDs, you're making an agreement with the broker to cash settle the difference between the opening and closing price, but you never own the shares directly. You are simply trading on the direction of the price. Leverage, the ability to easily short sell, and ownership are the key differences between the two products. Share CFDs are derivatives of direct shares and are really a vehicle to express a view in the movement in the price of the underlying share. By comparison, with direct shares, you own a piece of the business. Traders may be wondering whether or not this is the vehicle for them or whether they should switch their active trading to CFDs. Let's investigate this. We'll use an example of a Pepperstone trader using a retail account to showcase a trade that went positively. For reference, the retail account allows leverage of 5 to 1, so a 20% margin. A trader wants to buy $10,000 worth of Apple shares at $150, as he believes the price will go to $200. With direct shares, he would buy 67 shares and would need the full $10,000 to cover the transaction. With CFDs for the same $10,000 Apple notional exposure, he would also buy 67 shares at $150, but instead of putting down $10,000, he would place margin of $2,000 to initiate the position. As a retail account, he is required to place 20% of the total face value down. If Apple shares go up by $50 to $200, in both cases, he makes $3,350, 67 times $50. But his initial outlay was different. Pepperstone offers traders the underlying share price and you decide on when to close. CFDs replicate all the monetary benefits of direct share ownership, bar voting rights. 1. With low commissions and no minimum on US shares, it means an ultra-short-term trader can buy or sell in short timeframes and not have to pay the $10 to $15 minimum that some brokers charge. 2. Then there's greater access if underlying shares are gated by brokers. CFDs may offer a way to speculate on the price moves of the previously untradable share. 3. You could boost your profit potential with a smaller cash outlay via the leverage effect, but be aware it would affect your loss equally if the market goes against you. 4. CFDs are much easier to short sell versus owning the shares and 5. Trade all sessions, pre, cash and post to access opportunities when news and moves break. Keep in mind that CFDs carry a higher risk. State-of-the-art risk management tools can help you stay in control. To learn about the risk management tools Pepperstone offers its clients, visit our website.